Final round highlights from the Champion Soar's Nature Valley First Tee Open held at beautiful Pebble Beach. Beautiful views all week long, great weather, and an incredible finish to the First Tee Juniors portion of this competition. Check out Christopher Myers from the 18th fairway. It's a par five, his second shot. Yep, you saw that correctly. He holds out for the Albatross. Absolutely incredible for the win as well. And are we sure that he is only 15 years old? He is a massive player, but also with massive talent. Take a look at that. Christopher Myers is your junior champion at the Nature Valley First Tee Opening. He does it in dramatic fashion, something he'll remember forever. Fred Funk now on the 15th. This is his second shot. He birdied 10 on the back nine, then all pars until the 15th. And then he throws this dart, leaving himself a nice little tap in birdie to finish his day at two under and seven under overall. Woody Austin on the 17th, 178 yards. It was playing on Sunday, par three. He had the second lowest round of the day. Trying to get some last minute birdies on his card on Sunday. And it, yep, a shot like that, that'll do it as he goes on to make that birdie. He birdied 18 as well to finish with a Final round 66, eight under overall. Roger Chapman, remember I told you Woody Austin with that 66 had the second lowest Come round of the day? Well, Chapman carded the Stand. lowest round of the day, tied with Lauren Roberts. This was his third shot on the 18th as he leaves himself about four feet there for birdie to finish off with a seven under 65, improving 19 spots up the leaderboard for a tie for third finish at nine under overall. So a great Sunday surge for Roger Chapman, as well as Lauren Roberts. Remember, they tied to that low round of the day with an impressive 65 on a challenging Pebble Beach course. Tom Byram on the 12th. A long birdie look here as he gets that one to go. He began the day in second place at seven under overall, trailing John Cook by one, but just could not get enough birdies to go at three under Sunday would put him at 10 under overall, which would leave him just short of this man. John Cook on the seventh. Par three, one of the most scenic holes in all of golf as he leaves himself a nice look at birdie, which would go on to convert. Remember, he entered Sunday as the 36-hole leader. He birdied six, he birdied seven, and then we'll take you all the way to the 18th. That is his winning par putt, wins by one over Tom Byron for his 10th Champions Tour victory, his first of the 2014 season. Yeah.